Alright folks. He's right here. Look at this. There's the back of it. It's a painting of Dustin's Nacho Cheese hot dog head. There's a lot of shadow there's a lot of shadow figures in this thing. What it used to be. What's underneath the hot dog head? It's all in here. It's like a riddle. Throwing this on eBay and what I'm offering with this deal on eBay, you get this painting. Plus a couple of uh, CDs of uh, how I made this picture and uh, what it's about. Uh, so it's it's gonna be a whole package deal. It's gonna throw it on eBay. And I know most of y'all don't want to spend more than ten dollars on a piece of fine art, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stay strong and I'm gonna hold this thing for two hundred dollars. 200 Watman dollars that's going to basically help perpetuate me on this whole adventure out here. So, you could own this piece, this piece here of miraculous art. It's like day three of Justin's wiener head. The nacho cheese is still holding on there. Uh, it's actually yesterday it was kind of rainy and it fell on the ground. I had to go pick it up and put it back up there. So here's the mold right here, ma'am. <coughs> We've got the mold made, and uh, I gotta make a little frame for it. So uh, there you go. There it is. This is the one week of wieners in the desert. Believe me, there's dogs all over the place. They, they know something's going on over here, but they can't figure it out. The funny thing about noticing wieners in the desert is it turned this weird color. And then what I've noticed is uh, there's no flies on this thing, even. If anything speaks volumes about, oh, but there are maggots. Oh, there's a ton of maggots on these guys. The flies won't eat the damn thing, but there's maggots. Okay, here's the, the base frame of it right here. Just got through cutting it on my table saw. And uh, I got to hot glue it together and I'm going to paint the mold down. So you can tell there's. So there's definitely fly eggs, but these wieners are, they've been sitting out here for a while. Now we're just going to let them to see what happens. We're going to watch them and see how they uh, develop. I glued these boards I cut to this, to the mold. I'm about ready to put the final board on top of this with hot glue. So. We're gonna let the mold uh, dry here, and uh, go ahead and get my my hat, and I'm gonna grab me a beer, nice cool nay light, and I started thinking about some. Sh I'm rationing out my natty lights right now because I ain't got any beer donations, so I'm just gonna do it with a 40 ounce for tonight. And uh, some plans earlier this morning about the whole thing. And in order to make the Jim Lee Sutter's hot dog house, the material that's casted in has to be very important. You know, I thought about just using a uh, just regular plaster, but that might not be good enough. And so, what I'm thinking about doing is casting it. I need some wire so that they have there'll be a little hanger that I'm gonna put in there. And there's tons of baling wire out, out there, so we're gonna go find some baling wire. And then Don and me some extra material I might add to the plaster to cast this on. You, know, you have the you have the mold, but then you're gonna cast it in a new material. They're gone. So I don't know if you all know can recognize what this is. You see what I realize is that there's just tons of baling wire out here. <clears throat> and you know, just being a kind of artist I am, I think this baling wire should be used for a uh, like sculpture and stuff like that. I mean, look at this. There you go. Yeah, we can, we can use that. It's a good, uh, I'm gonna come over here and 
place. It's got to be here. <coughs> this doesn't belong in Texas soil. I get all of it. All of it. Alright. This is gonna be what I'm gonna use the mix for the plaster. This is gonna be what's used. This is what's gonna be used to mix with the plaster. A little millipede. Little millipede here. Looking some nade light to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.